What's going on Rock and Vegan crew? Welcome back to another video. We are back with another taste test and today we're gonna be taste testing two new breakfast items. Well breakfast, they could really be eaten any time of the day though, let's be honest. I'm a breakfast at dinner kind of person, you know, so I like breakfast all the time. Anyway, it is the new Morningstar Farms waffle sandwich with an Eggo waffle, vegan baby, and a pancake and sausage on a stick. So we're gonna be taste testing these today and I'll let you know what I think of them. I found these at Walmart. These are brand spanking new at my Walmart here. And I actually had a coupon for, well, a rebate through the Ibotta app. I think I have a discount code, or not a discount code, an affiliate code link thing below for Ibotta. If you wanna try it out, um, you can earn $10 by signing up with my, with my link and it's super awesome. I've actually used it for many, many years since I've been vegan, so going on five years now, and I've had over like $200 on there, so that's nice. Anyway, so I had a, a rebate for this, so it was even cheaper, but yeah, $7.28 for these, and let's go ahead and talk about each of the products. So we'll talk about the sausage on a stick first. So we have Morningstar Farms Incognito Pancake and Sausage on a Stick. You can read all the information on the front there. There's four in a package and nine ounces. And then serving size is one piece for 140 calories. You can check all the nutrition facts there and the ingredients as well. There are wheat and soy ingredients in here, so it is not gluten-free. Looks tasty. I love me a corn dog and the Morning Star. No. Yeah, Morning Star corn dogs are like super legit, super good. So I'm excited to see how those taste. And then we have the super exciting one, the chicken and eggo liege. How the heck you pronounce that? I have no clue. Um, style waffle sandwich, vegan waffle. So freaking exciting. Two plant-based sandwiches in here, 9.3 ounces. And then on the back here, we have our calories. So we have 400 calories per sandwich. You can check all the nutrition facts there and the ingredients as well. Again, it does contain wheat and soy. All right, I was gonna cook them in the air fryer, but apparently this one needs to be either in the oven or microwave. So I'm gonna do the oven. And then I was like, well, if I'm gonna heat up the oven, I have a ghost in my house, I think. The light keeps flickering. I might as well do this in the oven as well. And this is 375 for 20, 22 minutes. And this one is three or 400 for 17 to 18 minutes. And you have the waffle on the side for the last two minutes. And then you can assemble the sandwich. So let's get these cooking. All right, after patiently waiting for everything to be done and cooled off, we have the sandwich and the sausage. So we're gonna try the sausage first and save the best for last possibly. So let's try it. All right, one bite in and it's super duper good. Doesn't have a weird texture for the sausage. I'm gonna dip it in a little maple syrup. It is breakfast after all, you know? Mm -hmm. Super duper good. There's four in a box, so not horrible for $7. I would get it again for like a special occasion, not all the time, like I usually say, for like everything pretty much. But so good, it literally has my mouth watering. It's delicious. Um, that's super fun for breakfast. So they got breakfast corn dogs pretty much, and then they have the regular corn dogs that are like just so good. So now let's try the sandwich with the Eggo waffle. It looks a little meh, I'm not gonna lie. It looks a little crusty, it looks a little, <laughs> It looks like it's like gluten-free or something, like no offense to gluten-free products, but it just looks like, doesn't look like a fluffy waffle, you know what I mean? But it is a microwave meal, so you know, I can't really expect too much, but here it is. And let's try it plain first. Morningstar's incognito chicken is just so good, dude. The chicken, chicken? <laughs> the chicken is so good. Love it. It like tears apart just like regular chicken, whatever. This is not a health food vegan channel, if you didn't know that by now. Um, 
The waffle is just as meh tasting as it looks, to be honest. Let me just try it by itself. Okay, not bad by itself, but yeah, definitely leaves a little to be wanting, wanted, what's the phrase? I don't know, I'm not smart enough for that, but super duper good. Again, make sure I don't put anything in my face. Again, it's 7 28 at Walmart for two sandwiches, so this will definitely be another special occasion, weekend meal, weekend quick thing, you know? Lazy, super lazy, I don't care. Um, processed vegan food. It's just, you know, trying to replace the non-vegan option with a vegan option so that way we have no animal cruelty involved, you know? So I am super excited about these, super tasty. I'm definitely gonna eat both of them and destroy them. I love Morningstar products. I love the Incognito brand, and Incognito brand, sorry. Um, I highly recommend both of them. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe down below, trying to grow the channel back up and work on these videos again. I love doing taste tests, but it does get expensive. Um, and it's kind of hard to test it all by myself, especially like making all these things. So I do have a Ko-Fi link down below if you would like to do a one-time donation to help out with taste tests. All the money goes towards the channel. Um, and goes towards taste test. And if you donate, you can tell me what I should buy as well. Um, Cause I would, I would be honored to try whatever you would like me to try basically. So let me know in the comments down below if you've tried these products and what did you think of them. And thank you so, so much for watching and make sure to subscribe, like the video and I will see you next time. Have a rocking night, bye.